Something tells me you have a story. I do have a story. About seven years ago, I was performing at a daycare center. Hmm. I don't remember this. That's because it happened to Aiden number two, not you. Wait, what Aiden and I? They're Aiden number four. There's four of me? Yes, there's four of you. Okay, so it didn't happen to me. No, it didn't happen to you. Okay, continue. After all my shows, I have the kids come up and they can say hi to the puppets. Oh yeah, we still do that. Yes, we do. And these kiddos, they're about two to three years old, super excited to meet Aiden. I mean, as any two to three year old would to meet a dinosaur. Duh. Anyways, the kids came up and uh, there was just a whole swarm of them that came up. Very unorganized fashion is what happened. One kid grabbed a hold of Aiden's arm. What are you doing? Grabbing your arm. Don't do that. Okay, what happened was a kid grabbed a hold of Aiden's arm Pulled it so hard, it ripped it. It ripped his arm off? Yes, it ripped his arm off. And from that point forward, the kids were running around. A few of them were crying. You caused chaos. I didn't cause chaos, but the arm falling off of Aiden number two, yeah, it was chaos and kind of scary for the kids. Man, well, I hope that doesn't happen to me. I like my ligaments intact. I like your ligaments intact, too. From that point forward, I have made sure to say to be super gentle with the puppets and to also not touch their face. Yeah, we don't like our faces touched. Because of the latex, we don't want the paint to wear off. And these puppets are fragile and expensive, so it's important to be super careful with them. I have had so many Aidens over the years because I just perform so much. So I'm a replacement. <laughs> I mean, kinda, yeah, but you are the new and improved Aiden. Aww.